Five of the eight winners of this race have gone on to win divisional honors. It's the three-year-old Colt and Gelding Trot and the Breeders' Crown at Pompano. Here's Ken Workington. Speed, and they're off and trotting. Giant Force is first away for Sonny Patterson, rugged customer, and from the outside, Campbell with Swagger Hanover showing early trot now. Sweeps up three wide to take that early lead. Swagger Hanover to the front. Rugged customer moves through on the inside. Rugged customer second. Giant Force caught parked on the outside. Between horses, Craxy is fourth. Saving ground towards the inside as they head for the opening quarter. Jeff is crown. On the extreme outside, Dutch Lobel is sixth by the opening quarter mile. Then comes Desert Rain, Baltic Striker near the back of the pack early with Sirocco Spur and uh, Herschel Walker. The early trailer is Keystone Ludwig. Opening quarter, fairly quick, 28 and 1. And Campbell's up front with Swagger Hanover, part of the Wellwood Stable entry. Parked on the outside, Sonny Patterson with giant force. Rugged Customer sets the two-hole trip on the inside as they round the club turn and head towards the half. Saving ground all the way is Jaffa's crown. Craxy on the outside, fifth. Looking to go three wide, Dutch Lobel in sixth. Looking to follow that move, Baltic Striker. Saving ground towards the rail is Desert Rain. Then it's Sirocco Spur. And off stride goes Dutch Lobel. Dutch Lobel on a break. The half was trotted in a quick 56 and two fifths. Look at the bottom of the field, Swagger Hanover now. There goes Baltic Striker and Mike Lachance. A menacing move on the outside, and Baltic Striker sweeps up and takes command like they were standing still. Still parked, but still trying on the outside is Giant Force. Towards the inside, Swagger Hanover a tiring third. Craxy is fourth. The three quarters, 126. As Mike Lachance sends Baltic Striker down the road here, leads it by five as they turn for home. Giant Force is second between horses, Craxy. And on the outside, Herschel Walker, but. They turn for home, and it's all Baltic Striker. Baltic Striker is drawing clear by eight lengths. Giant Force, a strong second battles for show, but it's Lachance right back here with Baltic Striker in one, 55 and four. An awesome performance by Baltic Striker, driven to victory by Mike Lachance. Lachance's second win of the night, owned by Wilshire Racing Stable of Vero Beach, Florida, the stable name of Rose Guida and her daughter Jamie, and bred by Paul Elrod Estate, Cincinnati, Ohio, trained by Ron Gerfine of Rock Hill, New York. And if here this you see is Baltic any Stryker. indication. Here you see Baltic Striker, excuse me, Stan, a, a super alert move by driver Mike Lachance, 56 and two, very fast half set by John Campbell and Swagger Hanover, which allowed Baltic Striker coming from the back of the pack to make up a lot of ground, because certainly horses up front going that kind of, those kind of quick fractions, they had to begin to tire. And uh, Baltic Striker circled the field, came from about seventh at the half and came on to win it. Unlike pacing, it is not unusual for trotting fillies to show their merit. And to give you an idea how good imperfection you saw earlier was, take a look at the idea that she beat this horse by three and a quarter lengths in a meeting a week ago. So it's Baltic Striker, a $4,000 yearling, but recently a private sale for a reported $750,000. We'll be right back. We're on Florida's Gold Coast, Pompano Beach, Florida, the Breeders' Crown for 1992. The winner of the race, Baltic Striker, the three-year-old Colt and Gilding Trotters race. And many believe that this Colt should have won the Kentucky Futurity. He won the Simcoe, the American National, in elimination of the Kentucky Futurity. Ron Gerfine was real upset the fact that Baltic Striker had to score from the second tier tonight, which means a trailer horse, but he had to be very pleased with the effort. The horse, of course, is not an early speed horse. He never has shown too much early speed. His strength is coming on late. He is one of the eight horses that's heading over to Italy, along with Imperfection, who won the Philly Trot. And it will be interesting to see, because with his late closing speed, Italian racing should suit him well. And we'll see how he does over there. Right now, he's where he belongs, in the Breeders' Crown Winner's Circle here at Pompano Park. Baltic Striker Sire, Baltic Speed, the 1984 Breeders' Crown Champion. As a matter of fact, the first Breeders' Crown three-year-old Colt Trotter winner. And last year, Stan, 10th in the Breeders' Crown. He made a break and a little bit of a sweet revenge for him as well with Mike Lachance on the bike. Well, he is. And, of course, Rose Guida, who you mentioned, is not only the one of the owners of Immortality, but one of the owners of Baltic Striker with Wilshire Stable here, is having a big night, too. Right now, let's go down to the winner's circle and Gary Seibel. 
Okay, with me a victorious Mike Lachance. Two in a row here at Pompano. First with Imperfection, now with Baltic Striker. That was a huge move you made there on the backstretch. Was it the early fractions that uh, set you up for that? Yeah, definitely. And uh, I was expecting a lot of traffic with the second tier. There was a lot of traffic, but my horse raced great. He, he won a much better race than he won last week. And uh, he, was just, uh, he was just good, real good. Well, you can see it on the monitor now, that big move that you made circling the field. Tell us about it. What were you thinking right there? Well, uh, you know, I knew that there was a lot of dead horses in the back stretch. So, uh, you know, and my horse started real good. And once I, I, went, I saw that I was going around the, the field like that, I knew they weren't going to beat me because, uh, he, you know, with the easy uh, fraction like that in the back stretch, he was just home free. That was a huge third quarter for you coming from as far back as you did. Did you think the Baltic Strikers still had something left for the uh, home stretch run? Oh, yeah, he felt real good in the middle of the last turn that I was just, just cruising home with him. How does it feel to win two in a row now? Yeah, well, that was unexpected for me. I, I didn't think that with the post position that uh, I could do that. I didn't think that I could even win a race. Even right here. Okay, and uh, Ron Gerfine, another sensational win for him. He's having a great year. Yes, uh, I drove a lot of winners for Ron Gerfine this year, and he's been doing tremendous. Okay, very good. Hi there. <laughs> okay, we... We have Ronnie Gerfine here right now, trainer of Baltic Striker and, of course, trainer of Imperfection, who just captured the race before. You having a good night, Ron? I'm having a wonderful night. I, can't, I absolutely can't believe it. I, uh, I, I prayed for a night like this. I, I thought I had the two best horses, to be very honest with you. We talked about that at the press conference. Uh, I didn't know how they were going to be able to win, but now I know how they can. Now I can go back and look at the replay and see how they won. Okay, congratulations. Two in a row. Great night for you, Ronnie. Let's send it back to Bruce Beck now. All right, thank you very much, Gary. Baltic Striker returning 460, 280, and 260. Giant four second, 340, and $3 in Japa's crown. $11 to show the time of the mile, 155 and 4. So it's Baltic Striker, the son of Baltic Speed, out of the speedster mare, Sonny Terra, who finds the winner's circle. Now the official order of finish in this a wide open race. It was Herschel Walker who had second itis going into the race, finishing fourth. Desert Rain fifth, Craxy was sixth, and the rest of the order finished, Siracospur seventh, and so on down the line.